Yo, what is good guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we are in my Speed 3 today. And in this video, we are going to be talking about reasons why you should buy a Mazda Speed. reason I'm gonna put on the board for reasons to own a Mazda Speed 3 or a Mazda Speed 6 is the value. So, as you probably already know, if you are browsing for Mazda Speeds and in, in the market for Mazda Speeds, uh, you'll already know that they're front wheel drive. Unless you're looking at Mazda Speed 6s, which are all wheel drive, uh, part time all wheel drive, I guess, you could argue all day about that but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Mazda Speed 3s are front wheel drive which does decrease the value of them a little bit so that gives it a value of a little less than uh, what you'd pay for something rear wheel drive or something all wheel drive. But nonetheless just because they're a cheap car, uh, a lower price car, doesn't mean that it's not a, a great vehicle to own. But to give you some figures if you're looking at first gen speeds uh, from 2007 to 2009, well, if you're looking for a nice first gen, you're going to be looking to pay anywhere between 8000 and I want to say 12000 So, second gens, uh, you're looking at a little bit more for second gens, obviously, because they're a newer vehicle. So, second gens, like I said before, 2010 to 2013 is the years they were made. Looking anywhere between, I've seen them go up for sale for 9000 ish and then you can get some second gens that are real clean and real low kilometers for uh, 16 17 upwards to twenty thousand dollars now to move on to the next topic I hope you guys are still hearing me all right over this ridiculous drone to move on to our next topic on reasons why you should buy a speed 3 or a Mazda speed in general stock value now, what I mean by stock value is what kind of performance it puts out in stock, um, in a stock position, with the car being fully stock. So I bought this car pretty well fully stock, it just had a short ram intake on it and that's it. So these 2.3 turbocharged 4 cylinders put out 263 horsepower and a whopping 285 foot pounds of torque. So if you are new to a turbocharged car, a boosted car if you will, um, if you're completely new to owning a turbocharged car, like I was when I first got this, I had never owned a turbo car before, never even driven in something boosted. Actually, the only other car I'd driven in boosted was a first gen Mazda Speed 3 a couple of years before I got this. If this is your first car, your first boosted car, this will be plenty of power for you. You will be able to enjoy the boosted life for sure uh, under those numbers. Out of doubt. So to move on to the next topic here right quick, uh, the next thing I'll say about why a reason why you should buy a Mazda Speed is for the practicality. Now, when I'm talking about practicality, I'm talking about it being front wheel drive, it being a hatchback, fold down the seats. If I could show you right now, my seats are laying flat and I have tons and tons of room back there to store whatever, to haul whatever, to take whatever I need. Um, it's good on gas, everything like that. It's just a practical car. Like until you get to the point where I'm at, I get like 380 kilometers to a tank of gas, which is ridiculous. But I mean, I asked for that. My car is tuned for that. So okay. And to move on to another topic on why you should be buying a Mazda Speed 3, or like I said, a Mazda Speed in general, is modding. Now, what I mean by modding is that. These cars, these engines respond very well to mods. Now, my car is fairly heavily modified and <clears throat> there's never been a point where I've thrown a mod into this car and it's thrown a check engine light back at me and it's put it in lit mode, nothing like that. Um, but then again, you can't just be going and chucking any mod you want into the car and expecting 
expecting it to work. You need to study your car. You need to know what each mod is going to do to your car. What kind of gains you're going to get. What kind of losses you're going to get. Uh, How is it going to affect your ECU? You need to be on top of that before you do it. So there's a lot of things to know about this car before modding it. So you definitely got to read up about that. I'm not going to touch base on everything for modding about this car in this video. But I'll definitely have a video on the best way to mod a Mazda Speed really to go down but that's for another video all together the ECU just seems to learn everything really well so the next reason I want to point out to you guys on why you guys should buy a Mazda Speed is the sound that this motor puts out now it is just a four cylinder and you're probably thinking wow it probably sounds like a goddamn Honda but that is where you are completely wrong I might be wrong in saying this but the unequal length headers that this car has or unequal length manifold exhaust manifold give this car um, a lot of people like to say a boxer rumble kind of like a Subaru um, I don't really like comparing it to a Subaru because boxer engines have their own sound of their own but it definitely doesn't sound like a normal four banger